G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where we're back in our Millionaire Challenge coming into Day 30. Day 30 of trying to make a million dollar redos as quickly as we can and it's going okay, you know, I'm into the hundreds of thousands of dollars now, I'm 20% of the way there. But we're making money fast now, we get better loot, we put mods inside it, we have max level better barter. Where are you? Just there? Five out of five, we're making dollar redos left, right, and center. All I need is the gubs to sell, which is what my mission is for today. The sun has only just risen. I have a little bit of time before I have to set up, uh, set off rather, and I want to use that time real quick. Getting rid of you. This needs to go. This whole chimney is just taking up space. I need all of my rooftop to turn into a gyro landing pad. Go like that, just collapse the whole lot. Didn't clubs the whole building, which is always a good time. Easy as you like. So then, ooh. Hang on. Excuse? What the dickens are you doing down there, Jigglypuff? Get the shit off my lawn. I didn't invite you over. Unless you're going to bring me some money or bring me some spuds. Get out of here. Oh, that might have something to do with it. There's a whole cascade of zombies hanging out across the road. Well, that's all right. Shotgun's got all of that covered. Pull one through you. Look at it, doubles everywhere. The shotgun is just everything that you need in and around your life because zombies fall before you like you're a goddamn waterfall. Someone else has grown to that mean. That's fine. So good, man. It's so good. You get the shotgun and you get life. Oh, it just feels good. I am running a little low on meat stew at the moment. So I'll grab my spuds. I'll grab my corn. Animal fat as well. And I think it takes water too. Grab all of you. Uh, you need some fuel. There you go. I did see someone asking actually in a comment a while ago now. Why I always use frames for fuel. And it's purely because um, the, the math on the wood. Like one piece of wood gives you X amount of time. So like it's scaled depending on what you've made out of wood. So there's no detriment to using frames. And I always have them on me. So it's just easier for me to use them. You're going to take a lot of time to cook, but you're going to cook me a lot of them. 23 minutes, and they stack easily as well, which makes it way easier to get the right amount of fuel in them. That's almost bang on. You can have an extra one just as like a tip. Sick. All right. I'm living in Australia, so I have no idea how tipping works. I assume that's right. Uh, you can go in there as well. All right. I think I'm all pretty much good to go. Yeah, I am. It's 5 a.m. All right, let's jump in the gyro and head up north. But before I do, grab a couple of dollary doos just in case there's something worthwhile for me up there. If he's got something good to sell me, I'm going to want to buy it. I definitely didn't explain that whole like burn time frame calculation well at all, did I? So basically, like if uh, a frame is made from two pieces of wood, so the time of burning, uh, the forge time would have got out of two pieces of wood is the same as a frame. They had to change that or fix that rather. Because it used to be like wooden doors, I think, was the thing that gave you like five minutes of burn time. Uh, whereas the wood to make it would have only given you like maybe like one and a half or something like that. So you could really exploit it that way. They've got rid of that now. There's no benefit from like crafting different items out of wood and burning those. I just use the frames because I always have a stack of frames on me. I have it there. They stack easily. They're easy to use. So may as well do it like that. That was some bang average flying. I came in real hot again. I don't know what's happened. I've just lost my ability to fly my gyro competently at all. I'll grab you just in case I need you. I'll grab you just in case I need you as well. All right. Oh, I got really confused then for a second. Jolly Boy hasn't opened yet. He's still having a snooze. Bud, would you get out here, please? I've come all this way just to have a chat to you. The least you can do is let me inside. Open, 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 open the freaking store, please. There's only a couple of minutes left before I know you're going to press the big button. But it's doing early for me. I'm your only customer and I have lots of money. Therefore, I demand preferential treatment. That's how it works, right? You get rich enough and you get treated differently. Give me the eye candy. Give me the rock busters. And none of those are needed. All right. Came all this way just to see you. Speak with me, friend. I will I'll have a cheeky chin wave with you all bloody day. If that's what's going to get me something decent out of you. Did I come and see you yesterday, uh, not yesterday, on day 28 though? I'm not sure if I did or I didn't. Uh, hmm. No, because I probably would have bought that book. 
Although a lot of this is looking very familiar. I may have been here before, you know. I may just be treading over ground. I've been here before. But I had to go next door to go raiding anyway. So not a massive deal. Uh, in that case, I will buy volume. I will buy that one. Thank you. I will check. Not doing either of those. And I don't think there's anything else I really need from me right now. Although I may as well. Much obliged. I mean, I probably should have done this before, but sort of, I'll use it now. I've got plenty of uh, sugar butts candy. I'll buy the gunpowder. I'll buy the casings. Um, you got bullet tips or buckshot for me. I'll take those as well. Got mushrooms, though. Always on the lookout for mushrooms. Take those. Not much else. No seeds. Uh, check for tips. No. Uh, buckshot. No. Okay. That's fine. I do need to check your other secret stash as well. Take off my goggles and change it over. Mm, yep. It's okay. We're fine. Real, real quick. Change it over you to this one. I'm this. not holding the freaking Magnum, Josh. You can't intimidate him with chlamydia. He clearly looks like he's had it once or twice already. He barely even blinked in the burning lights of the chlamydia stick. So probably knock it off. Uh, and nothing there either. Alright, well, that, that was, uh, not a very prestigious little shopping trip, but we got it done. Chuck you back into here and change it back over again. Not great by you, Josh. You need to do better. Oh! Oh, I'm glad I bought that book now, because that was the last book of Magnum Enforcer. Ballcraft ammo doesn't really matter, but it is a fanfare. It's been a hot minute since we had a fanfare, if I'm being honest. Uh, actually, before I start that quest, I'm gonna need some way to dump off a bunch of loot and stuff because I usually come out of this place with a fair old chunk of it. So give me you, and I'll just chuck my bike in the front yard because then at least if I do need to store some stuff, I can just chuck it in the bike and be done with it. Grab you, chuck you right about. Yep, there, that'll do. So I don't have to leave the um the grounds of the POI to go and store some things. One through you. All right, let's get it going. You back down to that one. Shotgun out and after ready. XP gogs on because I want that level up. Let's get cracking. Knock, knock. Who's here? Someone's breaking shit and I'm ready to go. See if we can just open up that cupboard because there's usually, there they are, some clowns waiting for me. One through you. Oh, yep, they were all... No, they weren't awake. I saw the hand moving. I was like, oh, he's up and at him. I'm like Trader Joel, but fair play to you. Just having a cheeky jiggle in the closet then. Lean forward, put it through you, and finish you off. And that's it. Only a coupler. I like it when it's a little bit easier. I feel like even though it's a tier four fetch and clear, the uh, zombies that's going to spawn to try and resist me aren't going to be as hard as is raiding this place normally. So that's a good thing for me. Just want to clear the rest of this floor. Then we can go looting. Oh, that's always good. Anything tier six is good for me. Take you, drink you just to get some empty glass jars. Don't need the brass stuff. And I'll actually break you down because you give me springs and short iron pipes, which is effectively a grenade. Somehow you can turn a bed into a grenade. I'm not going to question how. I'll just appreciate that I can. Scrap both of you. Nothing else in here. I would need to check in this room as well. There's a whole kitchen to go through. I'm going to make my way there and hopefully find some acid. Eat you, throw you away. Could keep you to sell, but inventory space will be limited rather soon. So just kind of get ahead of it anyway. Any, I only want to take the valuable stuff. I only want things that's actually going to help me. Or raw materials. I think I've grabbed almost everything I can out of the first floor. Found another book and, well, the tier 6 padded hood is the best one by far that I found. Because, yeah, even though it's, like, not a good piece of armor, like it's low-level armor, it's still... Oh, shit. It's still gives me all of the valuable mods when I put it inside it. So that'll still be worth like a good $3,000 for a couple of bits of cloth strapped around someone's noggin. I'm not going to say no. Not this side of the century. That's for damn sure. Scott, eat you as well. There are only vitamins. I'll give you a little boost, but not much else. Just want to save the space. Space is more important than my overall health. I'm all about that loot. True loot feed is coming out to play. I've made it into the next area. We're about to head to the library, though embarrassingly... I somewhere forgot there. There it is. I forgot to get my bloody courier satchel. <sighs> silly. Bloody silly from you. Well, I'm going to have to break away through the wall instead to get back to where I was rather than taking the appropriate route. There we go. Look at that. It's like nothing ever happened. I undid my mistake, undid my muppetry, and we're all good to go. Grab you. 
Yeah, okay, I'll take that with me. Don't mind if I do. The library's gonna be pretty freaking hecky, so I'm preparing myself for that. Ah, see, look at that. Already worth a pretty penny more. Bang. Easy as that. Making money left, right, and center. I've only got two dots on my radar, so I think only a couple of zombies have spawned. Ooh, whoa. That is a rad soldier boy. Huh. Okay, what's up the top then? There's another dot. I just haven't scoped it out. And a... Not even a feral scomo, I don't think. Okay, well, I'm super sneaky stealthy boy. So I'm going to try and sneak over and kick the dick out of this rad soldier boy. He's sleeping with his eyes open, but I hope he's not going to see me. Because all I want to do is go like that. I want to put you down nice and quickly. Scomo has come to join the party, but he didn't save his friend. Are you a feral or just a regular? You're just a regular. Don't even bloody worry about it. All right, library done. Uh, loot and specs on, because there's lots to be gotten. Cross your fingers and your toes is to hopefully find ourselves a couple of schematics that I don't have. Or a book I don't have. Acid from cars! Oh, that's actually super bloody helpful. Thank you. Not a especially large amount of books in this library. I feel a little bit short change, if I'm being honest. But I did find a couple of things. Lots of books I've already found. Some schematics I've already found. I did find you. Find more ammo and loot. I'll read you. And finish that series. Fuck yeah. Was that lucky loot? Um, uh, Crucible schematic. If I finish the series, I'm never going to complain. You know what? There was the exact right amount of books in this library because it gave me what I needed. I'll read the Crucible schematic and also Puffer Coats. Not going to help me, but I'll read you anyway because it's a book I haven't had a squeeze through yet. So it was lucky loot. Um, enemies have a high chance to drop loot. Read you bloody ditch, mate. That is Bonza. Fuck yeah. Okay, well, also check you. Loot and specs are still on. What's inside you? Couple of grenades. And what's in the purse? I'll just scrap you. I'll also scrap you guys as well because I'm not particularly peckish. I just want the iron and the inventory space because I'm running out of that as well. I might have to go and drop all this shit off in the bike to keep on raiding because I can't go through the cave down below with all that stuff clogging up my pockets. I'll finish ready this joint first though, then take it all with me. Damn, I want acid now though. Although now that I can harvest that from cars, that's good for me. So I'll just leave all of you in here for the moment. Make sure I have my loot and candy on me and all my essentials. Yeah, easy as. All right, I'll wear you. All right, we're looking fine. So all I need to do now is just get through the, um, or down the elevator shaft into the next part of the POI. Which means I do need to get up somewhere. I mean, that's where I came down, so that'll work for me. Quickly got some frames, just nerd pop my way up. I know I could try and beat my way into the elevator shaft, but from memory, most of it is like steel and would take me eight years to do. So a little bit of a rigmarole just to get around will work out in my favor anyway. XP gogs on, shotguns out, and no zombies awake. Oh, I like this new stealthy me. It's working out. Oh God, it was working out in my favor. Lisa, shut the fuck up. We're busy. We're being stealthy, boys. We've got a feral and we've got a normal. So I'll murder the normal first. Ooh, Bond's about level 51. One skill point to spend. That is what I was hoping for. You didn't die. So I need you to stand up so I can put another one through you. Um, wait for it. Right there. I'll take those arrows back out of you guys. Don't mind me. Gotta recycle. It may be covered in zombie guts, but it's still perfectly murderable. And you as well. Oh, you're a feral too. There's one. Come closer so I can hammer it in for you. Don't get stuck on the bulge. You're fine. You're fine. A point or two into archery would probably be a good spend as well. But before I forget about it, you, you make better glue. Nice. So what do you take now? It was seven. You're now cheaper. Oh, you're considerably cheaper now. That was a good skill point. Good by me. Oh, got a couple of them waiting out in here. That's all right. Nothing the shotgun can't handle with a breeze. God, it's good. There's a capitating zombies all over the freaking shop without even putting in an ounce of effort, which is good for me because I'm lazy as shit. You know what? You deserve a teabag. You deserve a teabag. If I'm going to successfully obliterate all of your thoughts and memories, I'm going to take advantage of that and dip my chips in like it's a freaking pensive. Uh, grab you. Check in the locker. I do need the um needle and threads. Oh, it's like a hundred bucks. 
100 bucks for you. Nah, scrap it anyway. Uh, I do need to take the needle and threads to make myself the mods when I get back home to make my padded hoods worth even more. Scrap all of you. I will just end up throwing away. Oh, actually, I will end up throwing away all the cloth fragments. I'm going to leave all this stuff because I have the loot and candy. So if I'm going to have the loot and candy, I may as well keep it all there untouched so that when I do want to loot it, I get even more loot for my buck. One through you. And wait, am I wearing the right gogs? I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hang on two seconds, buddy boy. I was just changing my apparel. There we go. Make sure I get all the XP I want to make sure I get more levels up. Yes, good. New bow was a good keep. So who have we got this time? We've got a radiated Loz hanging out in the test tube. Holy shit. All right, that is a lot to deal with. We've got a rad cop, a couple of feral whites, some soldier boys, another soldier at the back there as well. All right, this is a, um, this is a bit of a doozy of a room. I kind of want to deal with you first because you're like the showpiece and I want you to not be the showpiece anymore. So we'll open up the glass, wasting some arrows. That's okay. And put one through the top of your head. Like that gets you real upset with me. Now I don't have anti-rat in my bow. So you come all the way close to me. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. And cop that right in the chin. Lovely, lovely. Then I can start picking through all your friends. It's about playing smart, not playing fast. Normally I'm rushing through, but something like this, I'm much better suited to going one at a time. Where the shit are you going? I mean, I must have hit the directional part of your brain because you ain't got a shit of an idea of where the hell you're supposed to be going. Fine, I'll pick a fight with your friend then. Between the two of you, you might be able to figure out where the dick I'm standing. There you go. Proud of you. Figured it out, didn't you? Well, for all your trouble, I'll give you a chlamydia. I've put down almost everyone I can. I think it's about the right time for me to try and take on that cop. I've got a bit of a shot in his head. It's not a great one, though. One like that. The worst thing I want, though, is for him to get real annoyed with me and start going boomy boys. No. Nope. No. Nope. No gobs either. No kebabs. Oh, there's his heart attack. And there's his death. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. With him taken care of, the rest of this is pretty much child's play. So charge in and go say, how you bloody going to old mate over here? Put you down. One in the face. One in the head. Two in the head. Yeah, I died from that too. Nice. All right, well, we're all good to go. I want to quickly just like solidify you a bit though and make sure I'm lathering myself up nice and lovely like. All right, time for looting then. Oh, what I should do before I pop looting candy though is get into here and make sure that hardened chest is ready to be opened. Last thing I need is to be rushing through, trying to loot as much as possible and have to crack open this thing. Thank God I came to do this now because it is just eating my lockpicks and I'm not particularly thrilled about it. There's the zeros though. Nice. You can get open, you can get open, and you can get open. Not a lot of else, but that's all good. So the first thing I left behind was the, um, what was it? It was the, like, medium ammo pile that was just up a floor. So we'll go, we won't get the rare blocks, apparently. Stick you like there and like there so I can get up way easier. Nice. Okay, this shouldn't take too long to do just to get all of my gubs in order. If I can get over the freaking railing... <laughs> Apparently, like I was making fun of the white's pathfinding before. Apparently, mine is just as bad. Uh, duck over to here. In fact, I'll start on the other side. Oh, and you have bones in you as well. Well, grab that. Always look out for bones regardless. Get that going. Uh, Luton Gog's on. Eye candy in. I'm going to last you five minutes, but that's all I bloody need. Grab all of you. All right, let's get all our gubbins. Oh, fuck yeah. It's already paid off. Tier 6 armor and some purple dye, but that's less important. I'm all about making that money. The wounded purple dye will come with me regardless. Check in you. A couple of extra bits of gas. Don't really need it because I'm making plenty of it back home. Some more ammo there. Uh, all right, yeah, not too bad. I would like some acid though. That's worthless. I can just piss off. Never bloody mind. Take you guys back too. Waste not what not and all that. Um... 
All right, that's fine. Just like getting like, not every loot thing I go into, Josh, has to be the bee's bloody knees. Sometimes you can get trash loot. It's okay. You don't need to panic about it. I'm sure you'll get your just desserts in the end. I'm just so, I'm just so greedy for loot for like for everything. I'm never satisfied. Even when I'm finding good stuff, I find one box that doesn't have tier six something in it and I get stroppy and be like, how dare you? How dare you not give me amazing loot at every bloody turn? I'm just, I'm just greedy. I'm insatiable. I just always want more. I'm never going to be satisfied. I meat stew. I don't need rotten veggie sa uh, Vegemite sandwiches though, so I can throw them away. Weapons bag. Ooh, ooh. I mean, I'm rolling with a tier three pumpy and you're a tier three auto, uh, auto shotty. So yes, please. I can scrap the crossbow bolts though. And a tier six combo bow, which will be very excited. I can put some mods into you. Gun store box. That's the thing. I was complaining that a desk gave me some flowers and I find the gubs I need in four seconds anyway. Don't need die. I do need a beacon. I'm about to use my other one to make myself an extra chem station. I'll actually use you because I do have some military armor parts and I could use that to make stuff and get better gubs. Scrap the paintbrush. Take you because you're worth some dollary dues. Nice. All right. Last but not least, what's in the hardened chests? Another tier six leather hood. Thank you very much. Oh, and some tier six steel gloves. That's worth a pretty penny. And some impact bracing to make my boots worth even more. Happy to find those. You're worth dick all. You're worth dick all. You're worth relatively dick all. Scrap you. The rest of you guys can come with me. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the words that I very rarely say. That was worthwhile. That was some good bloody loot. Wait, did I want to scrap you? Probably not. What are you worth? Nah, fuck it. Get scrapped. Here we go, just back to trading potatoes. This isn't the trader that gave me the job, but it is where my gyro is parked up. I will put all I can into you, just like that. Uh, what am I missing in there? I usually have five locked in. What am I missing? I don't even know, really. I suppose maybe tools or something, I'm not sure, but I'll grab everything out of you as well, including those five that I often forget. So do I, ooh, do I push my luck? And go see the tradies. I feel like I kind of want to because I do have some money on me before I go hand in the quests. I th I feel like like last time on day 28, I saw Jenny Girl and then those two traders. I didn't go up north. So I might go see these two and see how they're going. But before I do, I just want to have a cheeky chat to Trader Joel and see if he's going to give me a job back in my hometown. Um, Back to the southeast. It's a bit too far. Only clear zombies as well. That's the one next door so I can reset Wayne's manor. Nothing real doing. All right, never mind. I'll catch you later, Sunny Jim. I'll see you next time round. I want fetch and clears. Nothing else is going to do for me. I was actually leaving. I was going on the jar, but I still have a minute of loot and candy left. And because I'm greedy and probably a little bit silly, there's a cemetery just here, which I know I can get through heckin' quickly. You can die, you can die, whoever else is in here is gonna die as well. If you all make yourself known to me, I will <laughs> deprive you of life and send you from this world. I think I just heard a cop. I did hear a cop. Nope, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All of you stop it. No one waiting for me outside. That was a massacre and a half. Still got loot and gogs on. Ooh, some nuggies and some mods. Don't mind if I do. See, that was good, you know? Taking advantage of the loot and candy I got. I may be getting a bit pedantic about it, but I feel like it's worthwhile if it's paying off in the end. Take all of you. Nothing up the top. Check the grave. Some ammo. Yep, there you go. Look at that. Nice express ray just to get some extra gubs. Always a good idea. I can see the towers down there of Trader Hume. I'm always going to look at every time I fly over a town just to see what POIs are there. Maybe I've missed a couple of good ones. Like, there's a high school in this, which has pretty decent loot at the end of it. But it's a lot of effort to raid a high school. I don't do it very often purely because it does just take a lot of the day to punch through it all. If I get a quest to go there or something, I might. But otherwise, probably not. Fly over the old fist only base. Try not to land on the garage and... Put it down. Look at that. We finally figured out how to land properly without breaking all our ankles. I am starting to run out of candies, though. Did I bring my money with me? No, I didn't. That's heckin' bloody silly, Josh. I should probably go on a, um, a vending machine raid at some point. Uh, let's get you sorted. I'll grab you. You can just hang out in there. That's the fifth one. That's what I was missing before. That all makes sense to me now. 
We're gonna need to go raid some vending machines to try and find some more like looting candy and some more rock buses and all the things that I need. Looting candy, sugar butts, and well, that's two out of the three that I would like to buy. Hey, Thank you, buddy. Trader Hugh. Come to the good again. The XP gogs on. So make sure I'm getting your ridiculously good secret stash. What have you got for me? Came all this way just to have a cheeky chin wag. What are you gonna offer me? He's got Pistol Pete Volume 5. Uh, anything else with a closed book on it? So I know I haven't read it before. Uh, nah. Oh, God, that's very tempting. But no, not gonna spend all that money. I'm doing fine as it is. That's all pretty good. Pistol Pete Volume 5. It's only 650 bucks. There is some ammo making materials I wouldn't mind buying off that's him as well. But I today. will check you. Check your not so secret stash. What have you got in this one? Anything good? Couple of shotguns, couple of gubs. Tech Junkie Volume 6. I mean, it's for stun buttons, which means dick alts because stun buttons are completely worthless. But that will give me like bolt crafting turret ammo and stuff. I'm getting slightly closer to maxing out that series. So, okay. Yep. I'll just buy you. I will check this one. I'll chuck on wrong. you again to get a better deal. I wanted to buy, where were you? Uh, 20 gunpowder. All right, yep, sure. I'll buy that. I'll buy the buckshot and the bullet casings as well. That's all looking pretty spiff. All right. Uh, Pistol Pete, volume five. Nothing else in here for me. No, not all open books and nothing particularly exciting. Could buy that, but I can make them for myself anyway. So not Thank really worthwhile. God, you're done browsing. Uh, Next listen, time I was you for that. singing. I bought shit, you bloody bastard. I'll shave off your beard with my freaking axe. And we'll make a Wallace and Gromit movie about it and call it a close shave. I'll change over a sheep for you if you quit, if you don't quit bitching about me actually spending money with you. What an asshole. All right, you read that. I know. Oh, double fanfare as well. What a fucking day. Check junkies done. I can ball craft my, robot my robotic ammo. Fuck yes. I also got Pistol Pete, which is... Shots fired point blank range, ignore armor. Which means my SMG is about to be a whole lot better as well. Fuck yes. All right. Well, spend some money. Mold the abuse the trader. We'll go ahead off and go see our other friendly boy as well. Oh, it's just a time. This was a trader wrecked, I think. Yeah, it is. I can see the blue of his caravan. Well, I feel like, I mean, a lot of, like, Jen has a caravan. Wrecked has a caravan. Bob has a caravan under his covering as well. So maybe, like, the caravan is the trader part. And they're just, like, bunkering down in the POIs for some walls. That kind of makes some sense. Plonk you down there. All right. Rex, you've helped me before. You've been, of all the traders, you've been, oh, you give me good shit as well. You've been one of my favorite trading potatoes. Take all of that. I can't take your corn plants anymore, which is heckin' rude. If you break it, you buy it. Well, I'm going to break a lot of your gubs then, because I'm going to buy a lot of your gubs. No, worse uh, looting gogs. I'll take those ones. Don't need rocket rags just yet. Although, like rocket launcher down the track might be a good idea. Um, nothing else really in here. I'll take the bullet casings. Did you have buckshot? No. Did you have tips? No, okay, you don't have any mods or books in there either. What's in your secret stash? Some rocket launchers. You heard me talking about it, didn't you, Jigglypuff? Awesome source, got me excited. Don't need it anymore, though. Compound bows. I haven't leveled up archer, so I can't make good bows anyway. Lots of books I've already read, which is kind of the deal, given I have unlocked a lot of them. Augur, solar cells, uh, and not much else. Okay. Okay, oh, wait. No, I don't want to buy SMG turrets just yet. I can make them for myself. That's fine. Shut up. I'll check your not-so-secret stash. More electric fence posts. An auto shotgun. A dolcher. Um, hmm. Ooh, ooh. Steel knuckle schematic? No, not tempting at all. I'm not going to make them for myself, so never mind. And nothing else. All right. That's fine. Look, I'm a long way into the game now. There's not a lot of books you can offer me that I haven't read yet already, so... I'm kind of at that point where I'm just checking to make sure. Nice. All right. Well, job done. Cicadas are out. Crickets are out. And the sun is setting. Time for me to head back home and get my gyro pad done. Get my farming pad done. Get all that done. And if I make it there in time, I'm going to be handing this quest as well and tick all my boxes today. We should make it with enough time to hand in the quest to Trady. I set my trajectory very early. We're coming on a very slight decline 
We should land just out the front. We don't have to nosedive quite at all. And if I do, I'm not going to come down at Mark 7 and turn myself into a human crayon on the pavement. A little bit of a dip. In fact, we'll just kind of point our nose that way. That'll be nice and easy. Oh, come and get the gubs out of you in a second. Just need to go and hand in this quest real fast. Just like that. Um, mm, yeah. No, it's okay. I can pick that up in a second and go and... Ooh, another eye candy. Skull crushes. I still don't know if that works on the same with the sledge or not. I haven't tested it yet. But, XP gogs on. Many Have a quick little chin wag. Ooh. Very resourceful. <laughs> what? T6 steel shovel? Fuck. I mean, look, I'm here to make money and that would make me some serious bank. Which actually kind of begs the question, do I use the tier 6 shovel or do I sell it? What's more important, having good tools or selling good tools? Either way, I'll take you. I'll also take the marks off with some extra dollar do goodness as well. That is a time. That is the waterworks. What about you? Fetch and clear. Do me a favor? Old Victorian, Thank is that back at the freaking... Oh no, it's something different. In the it's something different. Would you? And I don't recognize its footprint. It's just a bog stock tier four fetch and clear. Fuck yeah, boy boy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, I will do that for you tomorrow. No whacking flackers, mate. I'll go and do that tomorrow. Fuck yes. Oh, I like it when I get a tier four sort of waterworks. I feel like everything I do is a waterworks or Wayne Manor. So now that I'm home, there's a lot of things I need to do. But the first thing on that list is to grab all those bones. I had some extra bones in here, didn't I? Only six of them. All right. Yep. Nope. Cool. I mean, there's still a couple of extra glues. So I'm all about it. You're completely stacked. So give me all of you. Have like, it was like 23 minutes worth of fuel. Have 25 just in case. 161. So by delaying that, I made an extra 40 glues, which is an extra 40 duct tapes or repair kits or whatever I need. So get you cooking away. You need a little bit of extra time. That's basically bang on. Easy bloody peasy. So once again, I'm short on glue all over again. But it is also trady potato day tomorrow, which I mean, I'm not sure if I'm ready for it because I have a lot of gubs I need to sort out. Whoa, what's the go though? What do you think? What do you guys think? Do I use the tier 6? I don't go digging very often, but coming across a tier 6 usable steel tool is pretty rare. Or do I just fill it full of mods and sell it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right way to go about that is. But either way, I need to go and sort out all of my life and find their respective homes. Because I need to get my life in order. For one thing that is definitely a no-brainer, give me that. Repair you. The auto shotgun on the same level is always going to be better than the pump action. Although the pump action does do more damage per pallet. So it's doing an extra 10 damage. That's still a lot though. It's still a lot. I think with mods in there, it'll be fine. Plus on the bigger magazine and the faster firing rate, which should be not that cons... What the fuck? You're telling me... So the pump shotgun is firing 62 rounds a minute, whereas the auto fucking shotgun is rocking 71. What the fuck? What the fuck? How does that work? I know I can put like the, um, the watch recorder, the auto uh, mod into you and it will make it go a little bit faster. Um, oh, no, no, I have it in one. I have it backwards. I'll put my hand up. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh man, wouldn't be nice just to cut that pretend like I wasn't a galah for a second. Never mind, it's different. I thought the lower, for some reason, I in my head I was like, that's the number of the time between shots, so the lower the better. It's not, it's rounds per minute, you absolute clown. Never mind, I take it back. So, you can do, you were 71, weren't you? So you're doing an extra 10 rounds, so it's slightly quicker. Still not that much for an auto shotgun, but... Oh, um, I'll um, put my foot right down my throat and suck on that for a little while because I made a right mug of myself there. You, modify, have that one, have that one, because we can suppress the auto shotgun in this one. So you rock, how many? 16 rounds. 16 rounds in you. I can put a drum mag on there, but I think the suppressor and the full auto mod on there is better for me, which means you can hold on to this one because I can repair you and sell you, or, 
Or not, actually, because you're running a tier three. Never mind, I lied. But you can go into this box. You can go into there. You can go into there. So when I find a better auto shotgun or any shotgun, I've got that rocket for me already. So where was I? What was I up to? I was making, or I have made even. Oh boy, that's a uh, wandering horde cruising about out there. I'll leave you guys to your own devices. To stay the shit away from a gyro, please. So I now have all of this, which means I can... Oh, I'm going to like that better, actually. I'm going to like that better. I did complete the blocks underneath this little part of the roof, so I can get rid of all of you. You guys are far enough away. I shouldn't have to worry about you too much. I can go like that, and I can just start putting in my farm plots. Just like that, all the way around the outskirts to start with, and then I'll start working on the interior after that. Go like that. You guys are still passing through. No whackers, knackers. I'll get out there and murder you guys in a little bit. But if I go all the way around the outside like that, I'm still going to have to figure out where like my corn and my potatoes and stuff are going to go. That's going to make a nice little farming area. Give me the seeds. You can go away. Give me the spuds. Huh. I think... How many, how many wide is this? One, two, three, four... Count, Josh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if I go that stretch spuds, that stretch corn, I'll have them in equal supply. You need to fuck off, though, because you're in the way. Like that. You're still in the way. The stupid Alka trade. Get the shit out of my farm. I've got all my seeds down. Bit of a hodgepodge over here with coffee, then blueberries, then... Uh, what even is this? Some hops that I found. <laughs> just all sorts of garbage just put in the dirt and up and ready to go. I would like a door, though, just to make sure it is nice and secure out to the outside world. We'll go that way. There we go. That looks lovely. My mushies are done. Grab all of you guys as well. So you're going to give me what? 10, 12... Shit. 14. All right. Well, auto shotgun, you're about to get broken in because apparently they figured out where the heck I was. There we go. Nance, no, not in the mood. I've got my XP goggles on, so may as well go and clear out the whole horde out here. Um, huh. I was just looking to do some construction today, not deal with all your shenanigans. Go away! With the zombies dead and my uh, planting area all sorted out, I'm now free to make myself the gyro pad. The whole roof is going to be the whole thing. I'll get rid of all of this. Actually, all, maybe not all the way to here. I still have the way to get up and onto it, I suppose, which I haven't really sorted out yet. I could go through the farm, but then you're trudging gross manure feed onto your pedals to control the rudder of your gyro. But all the way along, just get rid of all of this. And yeah, this should be... This should be enough space for me to land a freaking gyrocopter on. It's not that much of an ask. It's pretty long and pretty doable. To take off and land on here should not be that hard. <laughs> I say, I would definitely fuck this up. You watch. But all the slanty blocks I needed to get out of the way, gone. So now I just need to put in the actual platform. What is it? It's going to be seven wide. That's more than wide enough for the gyro. Really, the only issue here is my piloting skills. Like, if I was talented enough or competent enough, I could land the gyro on the top of a tree. But I am not good enough to do anywhere near that. So I need to make sure I'm accounting for all of my tomfoolery. All of my muppetry has to have a cost. And the cost is extra resources. Also to figure out where I'm going to put in the extra supports to make sure it's nice and lovely and even. What have I done down here? So I've got a support with a one, two, three, four. With a four block gap. So one, two, three, four. Support. Yep, that works. One, two, three, four. Supports. Which is going to leave this little doodle at the end here. But I suppose I've got the balcony on that end soon. Fuck. Uh, all right, that is a whole other issue. Hang on, hang on. I need to go and deal with that right quick because Screamers bring in all sorts of issues. Get some fucking range, please, with your shotgun because I need you to do something for me. Oh, man. Apparently, this shotgun has the range of my foreskin. Barely goes an inch out the front. Can't fucking handle that kind of uh, shitbaggery. You all need to die. Screamers are screaming. Things are burning. I completely forgot about Screamers. That's bang average for you, Josh. It's poor. I think all the important parts are in. So now I can just set about upgrading all the blocks, do all of that. So 
Why did the scrim- Oh shit, why did the scrimmer show up now? I have been smelting and crafting and doing all sorts of things for a long time. Is it just because I was also breaking blocks as well? I know breaking blocks, damn it, also gives. In fact, you're, you're the one block out and you're annoying me. Go back to normal and just repair you. I know breaking blocks does increase the noise level. That's why mining and stuff other than the Orga is almost guaranteed to call on a Screamer. Um, I just don't know what... I wasn't even doing that much. I didn't break that many blocks. I'm surprised about it. I've been crafting gunpowder and gas for so long with no issues. Why now, Screamer? I mean, look, I'm not familiar with what makes girls scream, so you're going to have to tell me. Educate me, please. Last couple of blocks are done. Huh. So the thing I really wanted the gyrocopter to pad up there for was purely so... There's the dumbo box there. Let's get it all nice and lined up. If I go like that, and I grab some nails real quick, and I go storage, I can make a new one of you, and chuck it in that gap. And that's going to mean that I can have a dumbo box out of the gyro as well. This still goes into my storage room, which is nice and easy. Shit, it's already 3 a.m. And I want to, if I can, I really want to go and get my gyro and give this a crack. We'll put you there. Let's go get the gyro. We've got like half an hour before I have to wrap up the episode. So what better way to wrap it up than bidding landing my gyrocopter? Let's give it a nice wide berth so I have enough time to kind of figure out my life. I don't want to go to the super turbo thing uh, where it like doesn't use any gas because it just goes way too quickly and I'm not talented enough to deal with that kind of pace. So all I want to do is just put my wheels down. Oh God, I'm going to miss it. 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 Oh fuck, pull up, pull up. Have a go around. Yep, not good. Already been there. Don't fly over the bloody um, trader's compound because he might teleport. Um, all right, we've had one bin. That's all right. We'll try again. That was just a sighting lap. You know, we just came in, scoped out the horizon and see what we were dealing with. This one's the real one. That wasn't real. That was just a fake one. That was a practice run. I promise. I like how not long ago, uh, I was building caves in the side of the cliffs and somehow nailing the gyrocopter landing in that without even touching the ground. And now I can't put it on top of a freaking house. Perfect. That'll do. That's actually smack dab. It's an inch to the left, but it's bang on where I'd want it to be. That's the gyrocopter, not the box. You go like this. This is a uh, dumpo. There we go. Used to typing derp over things. That's the dumpo box. Easy as you like. There we go. So now I have a nice little balcony here. I've got my farm balcony and I've got my gyro pad roof. We are sizzling some snags. That is for damn sure. You guys go away. You go away. I hold on to you and I'm ready to call it. So... I spent a little bit of money, but not much, but I can come back. It is Trady Potato Day tomorrow. So I, in fact, is it tomorrow? Or maybe it's 32. I think it's 32, actually. So I need to get my stuff repaired, modded up, and ready to sell, which is going to have to happen in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, if I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.